Good morning, everyone. Aunties, uncles, friends, and allies. Welcome to another episode of My API Live, where you'll receive accessible, pertinent information with your host, Gunjan Mittal. And we're also live with a new look, which we hope you enjoy. I work for Austin Public Health, and today's episode will cover a mindfulness exercise that helps with focus to tune out distractions and the latest information about pediatric COVID vaccines. So stay with me to hear all about it. If you'd like to listen to this broadcast in any of the other languages, then please take note of the following numbers, or if you're watching me live, then you can take note of the numbers listed to the left of me this way. To listen in Burmese, please call 512-768-8862. To listen in Vietnamese, please call 512-729-6206. And to listen in Mandarin, please call 512-846-7161. Life isn't as simple and easy as it once was just within my lifetime. Things are in constant flux, and there's a lot going on in the world right now, from war in the Ukraine, the economic crisis and famine in Sri Lanka, soaring gas prices, climate change and unpredictable weather patterns, to the major loss of reproductive rights, for women in the US. It's easy to get lost in all the news and feel the anxiety from everything, which can leave us feeling defeated or a loss of control over our current states. In our last episode, I talked about how you and your family can become wisely proactive about anything that makes you feel angry or frustrated. Use these emotions to motivate yourself and others to create change for a better world. I discussed having family meetings and talking with your friends about how you have the power to change the world one, st one small step at a time. But you must take that small step to mobilize people to get behind the issues that you're raising awareness about. While you think about how to activate and stand for justice, I'd like to walk us through a mindfulness exercise that helps to bring us into the moment of peace and observation, which can help us stay focused on the task at hand and keep from getting distracted by all the current events. It's important to clear the mind, stay in the moment, and to relax your nervous system before we activate ourselves to work, to take action, or to just be a family member. A quick reminder to all the folks who are listening or watching that if emotions or feelings in your body come up that are uncomfortable or unsettling to you, then please take care of yourself as you see fit. This particular mindfulness exercise is called Five Senses. And it's a way to practice mindfulness quickly in nearly any situation. All that is needed is to notice something you are experiencing with each of the five senses. So take a moment to stay still in any position you're in by closing your eyes or keeping your gaze looking downward. Check in with yourself and ask yourself, how am I doing today? 
Now, follow along using each of our senses one by one. Notice five things that you can see. So look around you and bring your attention to five things that you can see. Pick something that you normally don't notice, like a shadow or a small crack in the concrete. Take a moment to do that now. Now, notice four things that you can feel. Bring your awareness to four things that you're currently feeling, like the texture of your pants, the feeling of the breeze on your skin, or the smooth surface of a table that you're resting your hands on. Take a moment here. Now notice three things that you can hear. Take a moment to listen and note three things that you hear in the background. This can be a chirp of a bird, the hum of the refrigerator, or the faint sounds of traffic from a nearby road. Take a moment to do that. Now notice two things that you can smell. Bring your awareness to smells that you usually filter out, whether, you're, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant. Perhaps the breeze is carrying a whiff of flowers if you're outside, or the smell of a fast food restaurant across the street. Take a moment here. Now notice one thing that you can taste. Focus on one thing that you can taste right now at this moment. You can take a sip of a drink, chew a piece of gum, eat something. Notice the current taste in your mouth or even open your mouth to search the air for a taste. This is a very quick and relatively easy exercise to bring you to a mindful state quickly. If you only have a minute or so to do this or don't have the time or the tools to try a full body scan, this five senses exercise can help you bring awareness to the current moment and give you a sense of grounding in a very short amount of time. This is also a great one to do along with your children. They really respond well to this because it's engaging and it's calming. Thanks for joining me on that. Now to COVID updates. Austin Public Health is expanding COVID-19 vaccine eligibility. The center for Disease Control and, Pre and Prevention, or the CDC, now recommends that all children six months through five years of age should receive a COVID-19 vaccine. This age group is eligible to receive the Moderna and Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines. The updated recommendations include the following. Moderna six months, to five years, you will need to get two doses that are four to eight weeks apart. Pfizer, which is six months to four years, is three doses. The second dose is given three to eight weeks after the first dose. And the third dose is given at least eight weeks after the second dose. 
boosters are not currently recommended for this age group. Parents with children under five years of age can skip the online appointment process and show up for their vaccine at APH's COVID-19 vaccine clinic at Old Sims Elementary, which is 1203 Springdale Road, Austin, Texas, 78721. And they're open Wednesday and Thursday, 2 to 7 p.m. And then Saturday, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. More than 74% of Travis County's previously eligible population, which is ages five plus, is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That same population is also eligible for a booster dose. The CDC recommends an additional booster for adults 50 years and older. And now that we've passed the 4th of July holiday, APH encourages testing before and after gatherings, especially if you plan to be in close contact with individuals who are at risk. A third round of free mail order COVID-19 test kits is available through the federal government. You can also pick up free home test kits at APH's or Austin Public Health's METS Elementary testing site. And that's located at 84 Robert T. Martinez Jr. Street, Austin, Texas 78702. Lastly, you might have been hearing about a virus called monkeypox here in Austin. This virus is predominantly spread through close, intimate contact with others. You should avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact with anyone showing rashes or sores. Here are some of the symptoms that monkeypox can include. Fever, headache, muscle aches and backache, swollen lymph nodes, chills, exhaustion, a rash that can look like pimples or blisters that appear on the face, inside the mouth, or on any other parts of the body, like the hands, palms, feet, chest, genitals, or anus. The rash goes through different stages before healing completely. The illness typically lasts two to four weeks. This spread of monkeypox within our community is concerning, although there haven't been very many cases as of yet. So anyone who believes that they may have some of these symptoms of the virus should reach out to your doctor immediately. Our goal is to keep everyone, especially our Asian, Asian American folks, informed about all the latest updates on anything pertaining to health, because we realize that it's hard to navigate health services for our newly arrived migrant friends or others whose primary language is not English. You can always check out our website, austintexas.gov, for any updates about COVID. Heat advisory alerts, resources, and lots of other information about what's going on in Austin. And it's hot out there. It's a hot summer, so stay hydrated. Find a cool resting place if you're outdoors for a long period of time. Wear a hat and other light colored loose fitted clothing to protect against the heat. To keep your overall body temperature regulated, you can use a cooling cloth or a wet towel around your neck or just go swimming. And these are just 
a few tips to keep you safe this summer. I hope that you will create ways to be proactive in your own families and communities to reflect your version of safety and well being. As usual, you'll find us on APH's Facebook site every second Friday of the month at 10 a.m. So we'll see you next time on August 12th, same time, same channel. Be safe, be well, and be kind to one another. Thanks so much for joining.